Here again with Scott Douglas wrapping up day four, our final night. Hard to believe we've been we here. Made it. All we made week it, Christy, we made it. <laughs> Hard to believe we've been here all week long and experienced another Monster Jam World Finals 15. Now let's talk about each individual night. First night, Young Gun Shootout, our big winner, Overkill Evolution. Crazy, crazy performance from Mike Vodders Jr. Well, and, and that's what that event is supposed to be. It's a rising star, somebody that a lot of Monster Jam fans may not have heard of yet. That's, that's how much talent's out there, and that's what the Young Gun Shootout brings to this. And what an opportunity for Mike. And then once he got into the big show, into the Monster Jam World Finals, he didn't disappoint. He looked good in his race, gave a great freestyle out there for his first time. And we're going to see a lot more out of Mike Vodders Jr. and Overkill Evolution. Let me get it correct. We're going to correct it properly. Mike Vodders the second. You know, the second the junior thing. Yeah. He wants the second. <laughs> now, and when you win, you can tell us that. You know that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about night two. We move on to racing. We crowned a brand new 2014 Monster Jam World Finals 15 racing champion, Adam Anderson, Gravedigger the legend, great performance. Yeah, and, and we covered that, uh, I think, extensively yesterday. A couple of notes to add to it is that next year we will come back and Adam Anderson will try to make history. Only once has a, a, anybody ever gone back to back to back. That was the first three years, Tom Mentz, then in Goldberg, and then into the team men's truck, won three straight Monster Jam World Racing Championships. Adam Anderson has the chance to equal that record that may stand for a long, long time unless he can extend it. So that'll be the big story for the legend coming back next year. And then when you take a look at the controversy from uh, as well, does Iron Man come back and make that next step? Or who hit? 32 Monster Jam trucks are going to go for it again next year. So, yeah, it was a great night of racing. I think the greatest night of racing in the history of Monster Jam, which is what we expected, and it delivered. Well, speaking of history, we just made history moments ago. We just finished up with Freestyle. We got a brand-new 2014 champion, Metal Militia, Todd LaDuke. He's still celebrating with the crowd out there right now. It, I yeah, know. nobody, they don't want to go home. They're up there hanging out, and Tom Mentz is up there with him. What a class act Tom Mentz is to come out and kind of hand the crown to Todd LaDuke and just make it clear to everybody what was obvious. Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia won this. And, you know, there are times in the history of the Monster Jam World Freestyle Championship, you, you walk out of here and, and, and everybody's saying, this guy won or that guy won, and we've had to have tiebreakers. It, it's something, I think back to 2010 when Charlie Pocket and Monster Mutt won it, it was a no doubt world champion. Tonight, Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia are a no doubt world champion, and you gotta love it. This track was tripping them up. It's the toughest track that's ever been created. The track won most of the battles, let's tell you. A lot of trucks went over quick, they couldn't figure out what to do. Todd LaDuke came out and said, I'm going for it right off the bat. He screamed out and hit, he was in the air four seconds of hang time before he landed. And once he landed, he went on, he had two backflips in the run. I mean, he had it all. It was an absolutely amazing performance. Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia are a no doubt world champion. And, and just the look on his face, I think he's still stunned, but he did it. And we know that kind of talent is all through Monster Jam. That's why the sport worldwide is better than it's ever been before. Well, Scott, you're absolutely right. I don't think any of the fans leaving the stadium here today are thinking anything otherwise. That performance was outstanding, to say the least. Now, did you notice I put my hat on? That's because Fox <laughs> Sports, our new show on Fox Sports 1, starts a week from Sunday, so it's March 30th, and we'll get it rolling. But then in June, June 8th, June 15th, June 22nd, you've got to tune into Fox Sports. It'll be at 3 o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific, on those three Sundays three hours of coverage from all the things you've been bringing folks on the on the social media and all our all our web platforms they're going to see it on fox sports one so i got my hat i'm ready so you guys can check the broadcast out on fox sports one and of course you can check out all of our videos from this entire week and more to come guys check out all our social media facebook instagram twitter everything monsterjam.com for all the videos we're doing it next year too 2015 three days tickets start in april gotta go gotta get it <laughs> don't forget guys check back to monsterjam.com for more videos to come i'm christy lee thanks so much for joining joining us this entire week. Scott Douglas is a pleasure as always. It's a blast. Come on back. We'll do it again next year. Even bigger and better. <laughs> guys, for MonsterJam.com, powered by Universal Technical Institute, I'm Chrissy Lee once again, and we'll see you guys next year.